Welcome to Rover YouTube channel. So today my Microsoft Access lesson is to show how to get Microsoft Access table data to your MS Access form by using Combo Box. So that is what I am going to explain today. So to do this, I use small VBA coding part to get table values to a Microsoft form by using Combo Box. So before going to the video, I would like to say please subscribe my channel to get more new videos like this. Okay, now to do this, I want to create a database, a small database. I would like to uh, save my database as just say product. My database name is product. So I'm going to create this data based on the desktop then press create yeah this is my database and my database name is product so i'll add this database to my google drive and i'll add the link under the description section then if you like you can download my sample database and check how it works now I want to create a very small table to do this. So I would like to create a table. Yeah. So my table name is TBL product. TBL product. So then I want to go. So I want to add several columns to my table. The first column is item code. This data. It's it is data type is number. Then the second one is item name. Its data, uh, its data type is text. Then uh, third one is unit price. So I want to set its data type as currency. Then the last one is available quantity. And its data type is number. So these are the fields I use to create my tab product table then click on this icon now I will now I want to add the sample data item code is thousand then the item name is just say shirt its unit price is thousand five hundred and the available quantity is hundred then the second product is frog just say frogs price is two thousand five hundred and available quantity is 150 and the third one is Saron and its price is 1000 available quantity is 50 so these are the dummy data I want to use for my sample table or product table now close the table then uh, I want to take form for my product database so go to create tab and click on the blank form then press ctrl s so the name of my form is fra product yes then right click and go to design view so here i want to add several text boxes and uh, one combo box now i want to add a combo box to my database so i want to add data from existing table product table so select the table and click next then i want to item code and item name to be appeared on the combo box yeah this then uncheck this one then next next finish so this is my combo box and i want to uh, increase the size of my uh, combo box yes then i want to increase the font size and the label font size yeah then i want to name this one the combo box i want to name this combo box as cbo test cbo test so this is the name of my newly created 
combo box. Yeah, like this. Then I want to add additional uh, three text boxes. Yeah, then go to design tab and draw or text box. There are the font size is 14 and the font color is black. Label font size also 14 and like this. Then I want to copy twice. Yeah. So after adding three combo box and one combo box and three text boxes, there are for three combo boxes. I'd like to give. Uh, I'd like to set its control source. So control source before uh, giving uh, control source for text boxes. We have select control control source of your form. So here control source of the FRM product is TBL product. Yeah. Now select the control source of your each text boxes here. First one, its control source is item name and the second one unique price and the third one is available quantity. Yeah. Now I want to rename my text box labels. This is let's say item name. Then item uh, price. Then quantity. Just say quantity. So these are the text boxes I used to get data from my TBL product. Now I set. Um, save this one then yeah I, I want to arrange these things like this yeah now I want to add the uh, VBA coding part for my TBL for my combo box first so right click on the form and go to design view then I want to add a small uh, VBA coding for my uh, CBO test so right click on this combo box and go to build event then select code builder now we are in uh, combo CBO test or combo box. Now we are here. Now you have to select the event for your CBO test combo box as you have to change the event before update. Let's select before update. Yeah, now we have to put our code in, put our codes here. So, how can we do this? Just say txt now i want to so uh, before doing this i want to change the text box names just say this text box i want to rename as txt name and this one txt price and this one txt quantity q t y yes i set the text box names so I reset the uh, I rename the text box names then again right click on the combo box and select build event yeah I have to select after update then me dot txt name equals sorry dlookup we use dlookup function to do this then the first uh, then the column the item name I want to get the item name first yeah yes Close the inverted commas then give the table name our table name is TBL product TBL product yeah close the inverted item code Close inverted commas here. Yeah. Then me dot here. You have to select the combo CBO test. 
and then close the brackets so this is the uh, coding part for uh, txt name text box then the second one again me dot txt again unit for unit price equal d lookup close open the inverted commas and D lookup yeah in brackets just say item no here unit price unit price DBL table name is DBL product Close the inverted commas. Yeah. Then the third one. Count it in eh? Our uh, text box name is txt cube oh, quantity. Yeah, txt quantity. Then Available quantities of a table column name, yes. Table column name. Yes. We add the code in for we add the code. Now then close this save and close will be a window. Then click on the form view. Now just select now any uh, value from your drop down menu. So here I am going to select this one. So wrong. So its item code is 3000. When I select the value from my combo box, it automatically loads to uh, these three text boxes. So the values are. from table loads to your form frm product form according to the or based on the combo box value so that is what i am going to explain that is what i explained today so you can use this method for any database so if you need any explanation or any question regarding this please put a comment under the comment section and do not forget to subscribe my our youtube channel to get new videos then okay i'll stop today let's meet again thank you very much